today's episode of Humor Syndrome, not like this. Hey everyone, welcome to the show. Here we go again. Here we go again with a billion dollar company releasing a subpar product. Now, Jones, I'm excited for you to be here. Right. I'm actually preparing myself to get eviscerated by, by the comments. Because through it all, I'm actually enjoying. I'm having an absolute and, blast. And I knew you were going to say I'm that, I'm near too. exclusively playing yeah. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Yeah. And, and I'm playing three, so that's good. And um, again, not forgiving anything, any of the mistakes that, that gonna Rockstar has made. Yeah. Tru truly, you know, underhanded business practices in yeah. the gaming space, you know. Let's uh, start there. Of, of, a, of a very high caliber. Highest. You know, just uh, yeah, like a heist that only Rockstar themselves could pull off. Yeah. A brand that I thought was bulletproof, that yeah. I thought was something that they very they cared about deeply, and it's like, oh, okay, yeah, this maybe not. That's what I want to get into. Jones. Redefining the word definitive, like, mm, okay. seriously, because but, uh, I'm like weeping playing San Andreas. It's yeah. been so long since I've played it, and so I'm cr like, I try to be quiet. I have the headphones on because I don't want like the N word with the two year old in the house yeah. like floating around, and so I'm like, yeah. okay, you know, like keeping the gunfire just into the headset, yeah. And like I'm mostly quiet, but then I'm just like driving around, and one guy's like, "I love drugs," and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, like spitting out my coffee. And so it's like there's so many issues, and there's character model. I, I could go on and on and on and yeah. on and on. No one's wrong. Like if you have an opinion about Absolutely. what they've done to these games, you're you know it, it frustrates me. Like I feel bad. I feel bad for the people that are complaining. I myself am not mad. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's the thing for with the experience I'm having. Yeah, with social media, you know, you right. get a snapshot of a hundred different problems. So the, your gut reaction is to assume that it is this unplayable, broken mess with problem, 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 problem. Yeah. I've only seen a few of those. But uh, let's really just dive in mm -hmm. to how this all went down and how it's shaken out. This is now being dubbed the cyberpunk <laughs> of 2021. Uh, with sure. I mean, one of the biggest. I mean, my 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 big shot against that is that like yeah. it's playable. It's just it's muddy. Sure, sure. It's n it's not. Well, it is it playable doesn't, now. It, it doesn't meet expectations on PC. It wasn't, <laughs> yeah. You couldn't even download it. Yeah, yeah. that's one thing. But um, yeah, it's a different. Again, it's a different, unique kind of yeah. you know railway heist. You yeah. know, like where they you know I, I saw somebody summed it up really beautifully in a tweet. It was like no advanced code, not a ton of gameplay. They really only showed cutscenes and mm -hmm. a lot of stuff. Um, and uh, and then yeah, then it then it comes out and 60, 60 bucks in general is nice for these games. I, I like that they're split. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's nice being like, oh, I don't have to. They all don't have to fill up my hard drive, even though they're not that big. But Jones, I get depressed though thinking about it because it feels like they're too big to fail, and I don't mm -hmm. like this alarming trend. You know, we always look back to No Man's Sky and Sea of Thieves. And we're actually paying for that now. I feel like those instances have given developers this free reign mm -hmm. of like, let's just get it out. We'll fix it. We'll right. have our redemption story. But then you have independent games. You have something like Splitgate, right? You know, that yeah. had their server issues yeah. and they were like beloved. Yeah. You know, everyone came out of the woodwork and we're like, no, 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 let's fix your servers. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, we what? You know, and then like another, you know, a bigger high profile company, their servers go down or they yeah. have some issue and just like, you know, they're the enemy. And so it's, t it's, it, you have to have a special sauce. And I mean, it's no, it's no surprise to me whatsoever that like Rockstar is just not at all that company. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so. this billion dollar company. And it's just, it's so many things. It's like if there were just technical problems, it would be bad enough. But right. it's removing the old games from the sure. store. It's just skimping. Yeah. I mean, you're a billion dollar company still riding GTA Online, and you're not going to relicense these songs like that alone. <laughs> right. That alone, like it sounds. It sounds like I don't want to come out here and be like, it, "There's, there's this fine line between in, between entitlement and right. like bare bare minimum expectations." I mean, if this is the definitive edition sure. that you're saying, and you don't have all of the original music, how is that definitive at all? That's a, how is that definitive at all? No, no, it's 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 it, they've <laughs> well they they have stained <laughs> deliberately, intentionally stained yeah. their reputation. It's like Groundhog Day, that like icy <laughs> pothole. Yeah. They walked right into it. They were like, well, "I'm stepping into this right now." <laughs> yeah, because on the other side of that was you know hundreds of millions, billions, however much they made yeah. on this thing. Um, but it's like, and it bums me out because it's not like, are we, are they ever gonna touch these games again? You know, like, are we ever gonna go back and get, get, you take another shot at it? Yeah. Like, are we gonna get like an RE2 of GTA 3 Full or on remake? Is that what 4 was kind of in its own way? Like, mm -hmm. it sucks. And it's like, 
But like, keep in mind, like one of the other things, the reasons like has nothing to do with what they did, but like mm-hmm. I played so much online and I haven't played San Andreas since GTA 5 came out. I played like two or three times when the retro at GTA yeah. was the last yeah, time yeah, I played yeah. it. And uh, there are streets I'm driving down where, like, I'm not only reminded of L.A., I'm reminded of GTA V. Like, yeah. I'll, I'll see a location or a, or a street corner, and I'll be like, yeah. GTA V was referencing San Andreas a little bit there, and I never noticed. You know? So it's like there's a lot. There's still joy to be had. Yeah. And that I think that's the ultimate thing that where it's like I'm so conflicted. It's, you so, know, it's so confusing. I'm sure I must be so maddening to people who are so frustrated by it because mm-hmm. they're like, why are you enjoying yourself? And it's yeah. just like, I forgot. I, uh a track not being in the playlist like that. Like I love so many. I though. love the call-ins. I love the DJs. I love there's so much I love about the radios anyway mm-hmm. that has nothing to do with licensing stuff. So that mm-hmm. stuff doesn't. And a lot of people pointed out character models, which are like atrocious. Like, it's so atrocious. bizarre. Like what but like the hell? but like horrifying and such a weird like, like weird stretchy and people. like they're cute. Like some of them are like really cute. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, yeah. like 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 one of like the weird CG shows <laughs> like Milo watches on Disney Plus. You yeah. know, there's these little baby faces. And it's like what the like hell play doh character you know but then again like a lot of them are in one cutscene and then they're done you know yeah. like so much of for me in the game is i'm in a car sweets talking to me and i'm just driving mm-hmm. around listening to snoop and that that like yeah. that immerses me so much that a lot of these other things they really just yeah. kind of brush on by as i'm but older they're awful so yeah. like i, I as <laughs> being in my position at this company like i'm trying to hold both of those yeah. plates and spin them but it's hard because you're such a fan obviously so it's like and, and me and i and me too i'm like enjoying it on one hand because it's like oh it's nostalgic it's it's the old gta's but it still feels yeah. new i got three on switch i'm like that's a black the frame rate's terrible but i'm in my yeah. backyard just performance mode free. is really weird because these games are not supposed to run at 60 frames so like no, yeah. i'll put it on performance and then like well, when not... people move sometimes they'll accelerate like yeah. really really fast and then they'll slow down so i just keep it on graphics mode yeah. I mean, that's that's the one thing that I do want to say because I've said this on Cup of Jones. I'll say it on Syndrome. You know, I want to get this word out there. Get this it out. Is, because it is the one this thing This is that the I, truth about the definitive edition. Because it is... It's funny that it's so much of the conversations around San Andreas. Like, mm-hmm. we've all, like I did the same thing. Like, yeah. I'm loving San Andreas. By, I went straight over... I, I started a save file on 3 on Switch. I started a save file on PS5 on Vice City just to, like, get in there and get the, you know... Get the like vibes. The first, the first mission done, saved. Yeah. Uh, and then just completely, like, jumped into San Andreas. And a lot of people are comparing these... these again, God awful character models and super weird environment choices and frame rate issues and all that stuff to the original San Andreas mm-hmm. which looked super weird like I, like I seem to be the only one that's remembering mm. and like I remember at the time on PS2 when it came out being mm-hmm. like you know like this is there are some parts of this game that don't look great. Like yeah. there are parts. I remember like San Francisco mapping. Like what? This looks nothing. This doesn't mm-hmm. remind me anything of San Francisco. There's just a lot of weird graphical yeah. things. And so people are kind of like. They've ruined the sanctity of San Andreas. It's yeah. like, that's a weird... And, and, and again, a lot of people are talking about mods. It's hilarious to boot up Skyrim Anniversary Edition. <laughs> and Anniversary Edition's like, yo, mods, let's go. Let's like, go. Like, like, not only is there an option there, there's like pop-ups being like, yeah. mods. Can we talk about mods for a yeah. second? I'm like, yeah, let's go. Like, Skyrim yeah. like really wants you to know. Yeah. Like, there's been years and years of mods. Yeah. And this game, you know, I all think, these games like mods, what? You know? I think a lot more of this would be palatable if they didn't get rid of the original games because something like right. silent hill hd collection comes out and it completely botches it it's like right. okay, i just have the original batman return to arkham a very convenient way to play that game yeah but not the best because right. it messes with the lighting yeah. it just yeah. doesn't feel right. right but it's like they didn't remove the old versions right. so if i was playing this and i was like okay well you know my argument always is like resident evil 2 remake right it's like right. well the original is always there you can just play that. Mm-hmm. So the fact that they just got rid of those old ones, yeah, no, it's it's is it's just a, a malicious it's not, blow. It's not, it's not a mistake at all. It's not like I'm not like any of the things. Are like I don't think Jones has realized what they did. I completely do. I just selfishly haven't. I was, I you know, I watched mods of San Andreas. I watched Superman yeah. videos and all that. You know, like I watched you know people as Sonic running around. Like I didn't invest in a lot of that. Didn't test those things. Yeah. Um, and so stuff like the lighting really kind of does blow me away. Like a lot of the, you know, like time of day changes, night didn't really like exist mm-hmm. for me in San Andreas. Everything just kind of got blue. Yeah. Whereas like it's, it gets very dark and like and a little too dark interiors, like wallpaper and tables. And a lot of that stuff looks, looks like a lot better. There's a lot yeah. more detail. Um, your apartment in Vice City is like, yeah. Like yeah. I really, when I first stepped in there, it was like, okay, like those look really great. The draw distance is incredible. Like yeah. being in Vinewood, being in CJ's neighborhood and seeing downtown. Like that's what even, I want to talk about. I wasn't about. even looking in that direction. That's it what just I want to talk exist. about. Where so 
it's, it's a give and take for me. Jones, There's a I lot of really impressive moments. The cars, I, the reflections. I feel like San Andreas, out of all of them, though, has actually, the, the graphical updates have actually compromised the experience for San Andreas hmm. because it feels smaller. You can see it so much small, more. The no, but the fog and the winding roads and all that, it felt like a journey, dude. It felt like when you drove to Las Vegas or whatever the hell, you were going out of town. Now if you're like on a I, mountain, yes. now if you're on a mountain, you can see every city? Well, What? Yeah. What? Well, I mean... It, they're all just right. You, yeah, I know. you hate that. You hate I when do. you go to a town and you're like, yo, that person lives there. I like, do, and I hated it when yeah. San Andreas came out on PS2. <laughs> I could tell, like, okay, whatever. This is cool, but, like, yeah. it's too much. You're stretching. You are. The, the San Andreas <laughs> felt like butter scraped over too much bread. It was real tasty butter. It's like, you, you know, you have Samuel Jackson starring in that butter, and yeah. I'm going to eat that bread. Oh, but, yeah. like, oh, yeah. it, like, I'll give you one example. It's like yeah. the end of the pier in um you know Santa Monica it's yeah. like you know like you go to that pier and it's just ocean like you mm -hmm. go out and there's, there's literally just water for miles in Los yeah. Angeles and you look to your right and it's like yeah. you know like eight other zip codes are right there you know <laughs> yeah. yeah this Venice doesn't even exist yeah. on this map you know there are only for like there's like one Venice bridge <laughs> yeah. but it's charming and it was really neat and it told a really cool story but again just visually like I yeah. wasn't like uh it, it I, when we did the retrospective at game shows i should have played the pc version i didn't i played the ps2 version mm -hmm. and was like sad like i was capturing cutscenes, and i'm like these look terrible like the one where they're all i don't know if you played this much of san andreas where they mm -hmm. all go to the drive through yeah yeah like you could like there's just no lighting in the I interior i haven't played it on that new one yet. there's no lighting in the interior of the car and so i'm yeah. like, like it's a great scene to show in the retro but i'm like you know just, yeah just not a good looking game it feels hopeless sometimes as a consumer i mean you can be like yo i'm not gonna buy it right but sometimes it just feels like these companies are so big that they right. just can't fail. And like, this just keeps happening. These games just keep coming out. True. You know, it's it's a clearly a, a, a move to get out for Black Friday, to get those November, December holiday sales. You know, what, what can we do to say that that's not okay? Because it just keeps happening. It does. I... I don't yeah, know. I think, like I think what do we do? I think times are a change and I yeah. think I think it's a really weird time at Rockstar Hauser left like yeah. they they are you know there was no GTA <laughs> with PS4 it's just yeah. crazy like I was explaining yeah. that to Amanda because I was telling her why I was enjoying San Andreas I'm like I haven't played this in a long time yeah. and I was like this is a big deal that we got three Vice City and San Andreas and the PS2 is kind of crazy yeah. like somebody pointed out when we got you know the three Castlevanias on Game Boy Advance and the three Castlevanias on DS it's like this yeah. is never going to happen again you know there was just they were you know they were just banging out so much quality it was yeah. very strange um, but, uh, you know, so we're very lucky, like, to get the opportunities to play this again, but it just, it feels, it's surprising to me that, like, I kind of don't want a bully sequel now. You sort of, like, really want it, but I'm just like, I don't know if this is the team. Yeah. This could be a, just a completely different rock star, mm -hmm. you know? Well, this is it's Grove like, Street Games, which is, like, their... Sure, sure. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Under, you know, their mo they did the mobile versions. I was looking into them a little bit. And, and this is, like, kind of based on that, apparently. Yeah, and yeah. So, yeah. Um, but I just I don't know what we can do because it is really disheartening, you know, this whole, you know, we'll we'll just get our game I'm, out and yeah. then fix it as time goes on. No, I'm I'm yeah. I'm I'm not I'm not proud of this company that <laughs> has made so many products that I enjoy. It's kind of how I feel about Disney, you know, it's mm -hmm. just like, man, I will get on, into the stuff that I will get into their worlds and I'll yeah. have a grand old time, but like yeah. sure they're a a very gross, messy company that yeah. does a lot of really skeevy, obviously skeevy stuff that they know no one's really yeah. going to talk about enough for it to change. Yeah. But what I wanted to mention before is yeah. Um, you know, people are talking a lot about this. It's gonna be really interesting to see Red Dead Online. Took, mm -hmm. You know, they took a hit on that. Activision's taking a huge hit. They're, they're, you know, the last quarter was down mm -hmm. for like first time ever. You're right. So people like, it's are slowly, voting with their wallets. You walls. had Fortnite. Uh, what I thought was really fascinating, which you know, was was Fortnite and Among Us. How they just totally copied and Among Us. Like, what the hell? And they were like, you know what? That was. You're right. Yeah. Let's let's collaborate. It was yeah. Like, oh, like cool it's, it's slowly starting to, to you know. In yeah. in various pockets, I don't think Rockstar. I think yeah. they're bulletproof. I don't yeah. think that they're gonna that they're gonna shake this off. Because that's the other thing too is I think there was a fundamental actual shock within CD Projekt Red where they were like, "Oh, yeah." yeah when you said that PS4 version of Bad, I should I should have taken that email, huh? You know, like they they saw what they did. Yeah. Whereas I don't think I don't think Rockstar's sweating yeah. right now. Time will tell, right? It like we will see the pre order numbers hopefully, or the numbers maybe for C D Project Red's next game. Maybe right. people will have pause. But like again, GTA just feels so big. It's like people are gonna be mad at this, they're gonna buy it or not, and it's gonna be business as usual, probably. Hot coffee was still in there, man. It is How a mess. Funny is that it I mean, is not funny mess. because it's frustrating because PC players can do it. But again, it's like 
They're they are not. They are shooting themselves in the foot. It's just crazy. over. Just yeah. Shoot, 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 shoot. Like there's no reason that this shouldn't have been perfect upon release. This is three of the most important video games ever made. This is Rockstar Games. Right. There is no excuse for anything less than perfection. I really don't think that is a that is a big ask. Yeah. That your games just come out and they work great. Right. And like there's issues. There's issues all around. I want to I want to open up with the rain. What's going mm. on with this rainfall, Jones? Have you it's, seen this? It's, it's bright. It's it, it's, it's, <laughs> it's uh, yeah. It's, <laughs> um, yeah. It's I I I I <laughs> I, I want to no be I want to be more bothered by it for yeah, you. Yeah. Again, it's not yeah, it's not something that I've noticed you too just, much. You, but. Yeah, you're watching. And I got in that zone last night, Jones. I got in the zone where I did play like ten or fifteen more missions in mm -hmm. three. No problems. You know, it kind right. it kind of comes in waves, like my, uh, Claude or whatever. I went into a little area and his whole face started like flickering. I was like, oh, that's no big deal. I guess I can right. a little flicker here and there. And then I was just going on missions and everything is working fine. So. It's just that that give and take of like, ah, oh, you know, it's three of the most important games. It's Rockstar. It should be so great. I, I guess I'm settling for it. Oh, for sure. Like, yeah, I'm settling. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, I am. I <laughs> We're am. settling for it because we love GTA yeah. so much. I am. Here's what happened, okay? <laughs> I am. I went to Paris, okay? I bought my tickets, my plane tickets for Paris. I flew to Paris. My hotel was closed. <laughs> They gave him away my room because they just didn't care. Like they were just cruel. I was like, "You gave away my? How did you? I'm gonna. Am I gonna sue him? Uh, but like, I'm in Paris, so I'm just like, you know, I might as well Great analogy. go to the museums and Great. look around. Like Paris is so beautiful, but like that is so perfect. It's like, but that hotel sucks. Like hotel does suck. I am never staying there again. It's Liberty City though. But shit, <laughs> you know, like, shit. What a perfect opportunity. Because we talk about it all the time, like what a dumb opportunity. We were talking about MGS3. We were ranking it earlier in Tier Maker. Yeah. And Ben was just sitting there like, damn. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's like what a good time yeah. to replay MGS3 because it's one of those games. Yeah. You know, it's like any time when they when they uh when that PC uh uh you know remaster of Goldeneye yeah. that never came out when that was yeah. online, I was like, well, you know. It just feels twist good. my arm. Yeah. yeah. It's just it's a good time for me personally to go back. And replay the stuff, and totally. you know, I, I literally, I just every now and then I'll have a moment. Where I'm like, whoa, that barber looks. Like, oh man, what happened yeah. to you, dude? Anyway, I got my hair cut. I'm out. You know, and like, I, I actually kind of like how different it looks and feels I'll when it's you, working. You know, it's it's kind of nice, dude. I'll tell you the worst. Huh. Uh, when they first introduced gang, uh, 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 gang fights in zones where you can like take uh, like gang regions where you can like take a spot on the map and you have to protect it. Yeah. Uh, they're like, here's ammunition. Here's where you get ammo. Here's this thing. You have to protect those guys. And when you do, you'll take that over for your gang. Yeah. Fade to black. Crash. Like, there's the whole thing, go to the PS5 menu, like, oh, unexpected thing happened. You want to yeah. send a report? Yep. Clockwork. Crash. Again. Again. Again and again. Just again. So I'm like, oh, my God. Okay. And it was like. Oh, my God. And it was a, I can't remember whose mission it was. It wasn't, oh. it wasn't Sam Jackson. It was somebody else. I think it was, might have been sweet. It was the S at ammunition. And I'm like, yeah. okay. So I, like, do another mission. Go back. Crash. Okay. Oh I'm like, God. boot up that old save file. Do another mission. Go back. Crash. And I was like. Oh no, like this might be the end of my San Andreas run. Like yeah. I'd really like to finish this game. Do every single mission yeah. that I can do except for that mission. Go back, it works. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. After I'd completed everything, what I don't know why. Hell? So tense. I'm like, this is it. I can't this do it. it. I don't know what else I can do. Yeah. Buy a property, maybe you'll like shake it out of it. But like yeah. and then finally back. You know, and now I'm like five hours past that. Yeah. But I was like, for a second. I'm yeah. like, I, I like you're <laughs> you still got me, Rockstar. Yeah. I'm still kind of saying nice things about this version of the game. Please don't block me out of it. Um This but, seems uh, like a giant undertaking to get this right. This seems like yeah. it's not an easy fix. This feels like they have it, months ahead of it. Because it also shows months. me how hard it would be to make San Andreas. Because think about all the whole like like working out and like fighting. It's like I'll teach you how to fight, and there's like no weight at all to mm -hmm. any of the animations. You know, it's yeah. like CJ's neck is like super mm -hmm. weird. So sometimes in like <laughs> really simple cutscenes, like his neck will just vanish because yeah. all the polygons will kind of bend on each other in a weird yeah. way. Like, well, that's what I respect is that it feels the same. Yeah, the feeling is there, and that is why I'm like you can move the camera in all three into, while you drive which yes. is a huge deal for me it, i've never had that in gta3 and so that's like oh yes like when you get so in there and it's everything is flowing mm -hmm. it feels like ps2 but with <laughs> these new graphics yeah. and i really really like that and being able to control the camera 
like even the the shooting is a little different, but it still feels janky like it did, which I kind of appreciate. Like, <laughs> sure. if you like, want that janky shooting, yeah, shoot, yeah, you're in luck. So I like that right. the spirit of the originals well, is funny, there. It it's, is in there. I got to admit, I am a little burnt because all people have done ever since GTA 4 came out, and ever since GTA 5 came out, is just dump all over. Like San Andreas gets a lot of street cred. Vice City gets cred because of the music and because yeah. of the the story is so fun and the I cast is so three. great. Three's been one of my people favorites ever. Love to trash on three. That's rude. Uh, well, I brought three to Hall of Grace, it's and so, I got shut down. Like, oh. you know, like a lot of people love just like, oh, I can't even, you know, like uh, Ben was even saying he played on mobile and really enjoyed it, but he's like, woof, some of those missions are tough. Yeah. And so now these remasters come out and do a bad job, and people are like, oh, I love that old trilogy. And it's like, who did? Everyone makes fun of that trilogy all the time. <laughs> you know, like people say the gunplay sucks. People say, like, they love to crap all over that trilogy. So yeah. it's funny that, like, all these people are coming out of the woodwork. Yeah. My trilogy. My like, trilogy. What? what have you done? Come on. Yeah. So. It's it's an emotional time on social media these days because it's like I I'm so mad mm-hmm. and a bummer because I I I legitimately have close friends in the Rockstar PR team yeah. that I know none of them made this game no. and are now like you know, yeah like, do you damn. do you think this will... I, I like emailed them like yo can we have a PS5 code for Ben because the PC code doesn't work you know, like literally your launch star and he, like an hour later he's like yeah they can yeah. <laughs> do you think you know we Word. we touched on it a little earlier Jones do you think this changes Anything internally whatsoever what, at Rockstar. What remaster are they not going to do now? Mm-hmm. Red Dead, maybe? We'll get Red Dead re-released someday or something, but yeah. it's like, you know, because here's the thing. If great, they announce, great on if they announce that next year, Red Dead remaster, Red Dead definitive edition. Oh, and we're all like, oh, everyone is going to panic. Here we go again. Panic. And it's going to sell millions, man. Yeah. You know, we're all going to, even if we write, you know, things and yell from the rooftops, they botched this last year so hard, don't. Yeah, you know, save your sixty bucks. They're still gonna do it. And they're still gonna sell through the roof. That's what they've. It's not what I would choose That's to do. That's the rub. That's the rub. That's... In their position, it's not what I literally. It's not what I think CG Project Red wanted to do. I just think they. I think they had a lot of really good, mm-hmm. talented people in a really bad, you know, direction. And I think in this, it was bad direction with a talented group that weren't given any of the resources at all to do, you know, yeah. what they needed to do. Um, Hitting that November release date is more important than your reputation, yeah. I guess. And it you was, want your you want the yeah. holiday sales. You need it. And I felt bad because you like would remind me about remaster the trilogy, and I'd be like, oh yeah, that's coming out. Yeah. I'm so glad I forgot yeah. because then I wasn't stressed or I wasn't like reminded of it. And it's yeah. like, wow, it's an interesting strategy. They're not releasing trailers and stuff. I'm like, so so sketch. stupid. Like yeah. I didn't see what was happening. Yeah, and, and I still would buy them. Like yeah. even if I hadn't for some weird reason and saw these yeah. reviews and saw the picture of the your girlfriend San Andreas and all you know the the donut and just all the. Hilarious, stupid, obvious, yeah, egg in your face mistakes that they made. I'd be like, well, still buying it. Yep. So you're justified if you buy it. You're justified if you boycott it. Oh, honestly. Sure. Oh, let let Rockstar have it, man. Yeah. yeah, they're yeah they can they can take it for sure. It's like the end of Batman. You know, it's like because he can take it. <laughs> like, They've <laughs> lived long enough to see themselves become the villain. I'm serious. This is it. Truly is for for as much as I'm like tolerating it and and enjoying it admittedly it's the beginning of vice city it's literally them talking about Versetti. they're like what are we gonna do he's been very honorable to us and our family i got an idea why don't you put him on the switch that frame rate though don't worry about the frame rate they're still gonna buy it put it on the switch you know and call it hey i got this call it the definitive edition (laughs) oh my god rockstar what have you done rockstar uh Definitive edition. Deserve? I don't know if we deserve better or more, but they should have. They should want to yeah. give us something better. You know, this felt like a spit in the eye. This felt like your games are so good, people are gonna buy it. We don't even care. Well, you they redefine definitive for us. Yeah. Like, oh, that's what you mean by definitive. Yeah. It's like that's what Disney means by infinity. Like, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> to bend in, bend in the terminology there. Uh, Final shout out thoughts. to the actors, though. Shout out to the actors. Shout out to all of the people shout who busted the their writing. ass. I'm sure that was. I mean, talk about a time where we crunch what nobody was talking about crunch. Yeah. The PS2 era. You imagine how hard they had to work banging out all three of those five cities. Rockstar made yeah. <laughs> five separate cities for the PlayStation 2. I love so it. Did the... It's fun going back to those worlds, to those those missions, which were so clever. Yeah. And, seeing um, the evolution. Even, and, and not seeing like, oh, this idea that was rehashed in GTA mm-hmm. 4, that was rehashed in GTA 5. It's like yeah. still stuff. I'm like, ooh, I'm like, thr- I'm like, I'm like, I squeeze the button and it, and it, and it 
like charges up the throw that I'm yeah. throwing to Sweet in the car. But if I throw too fast, it'll go over and they blow up and <laughs> yeah. like the cops will come running in and like the script is so good in San Andreas. So I did funny. the uh, in three the bank heist. And it's so great thinking about that versus GTA online. It yeah. was such a trip because you just roll up, yeah. cut scene, yeah. they go inside, they come out, and it's a chase. You know, Grand Theft Auto 3, it was way more about being a wheel man in the yeah. cars. Yeah. So it's like you don't even partake really in the heist. And then I was just thinking of like GTA online, like co-op, do hacking, doing all this crazy shit. It was pretty. It I like they making fun of CJ's driving. They're like, "You're driving suck," because <laughs> they know you've blown up a car at least you know, yeah. once. You know, so GTA Definitive Edition, not quite definitive. Uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. We'll see what happens to this release if they patch it. This seems like a huge undertaking. Three massive games. Um, we'll see what happens to Rockstar's cred. It's definitely taking a hit. Will they fix these remasters? Will GTA Online get single-player <laughs> story content? Yeah. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs>